Greetings, Bill here. Uh, gonna do a shave video today. Uh, first day back from, uh, not first day back, first video shave after returning from uh, the Cadre uh, convention in Vegas. Uh, gonna be using uh, something I got there, uh, CBL Mango Foam, foaming shave soap and face wash. Sounded interesting. So I'll whip some of that up in a bowl and I'll be using that. And kind of did that ahead of time. And I got my uh, vintage uh, shaving cadre uh, shave shirt on with the excess lather storage. Uh, I, the uh, stuff uh, is available with the with the new logo. It's up on the The site where they sell that stuff and that does benefit uh as i understand it does benefit the cadre so uh i ordered one plus plus i got me one of those neat towels which i'll have to like kind of put it over here where i got my name on it and and the new logo and uh you can actually uh connect your your avatar into it so like really neat and uh, i think i think i got a coffee mug and a beer glass or something like that. Uh, got a couple of things. And it's Sunday, uh, May the 1st. There'll be a uh, Zoom call, which is always a lot of fun. Um, tonight. And uh, uh, shaving, I'm going to be not using this. <laughs> This was, this was, I didn't, I didn't look close enough when, uh, uh, when we were in Vegas and we went to the, uh, shave supply store. Uh, but I bought this, it was like 10 bucks, uh, Scout Master, the Scout Master, all stainless steel. I did like, I thought it was neat how in stainless steel, how, how they actually make a wedge shape to the, you know, to the scales with no wedge. Actually, there was a stainless steel. I don't know if it's a wedge or a spacer, but it kind of bends there, and I think that would help help keep it tighter. But I didn't look on the back of the package, and this may is is it made in Pakistan. Now, I've never owned a razor made in Pakistan. I hear they're horrible. This is supposed to be all stainless. Looks pretty. Looks nice. Uh, the the gal at the store said, "Well, we sell those to, to, to for people to learn how to strop with." So you you know, I guess you get one of these, and you you know do your uh, practice your stropping technique but i'm gonna try and sharp it looks looking in that it looks kind of kind of weird and looks kind of funky uh as i do it. but i'm gonna um, i'll take a try at it we'll see how it does the um the razor the gold dollar that i honed up uh uh on my demonstration at the cadre i uh at the cadre convention uh i did uh shave with that uh a little uh couple days ago uh and i thought it was um uh a little uh a little harsh okay and one thing i didn't do that that i sometimes do is it you know i may have not quite honed to where i you know been able to get smooth all the way out to the edge one of the things I didn't do was I didn't go on glass and I didn't make sure that there were no no little things. Although I did do on the lathering contest, I did shave a balloon with it and it didn't pop. So I don't think it was quite jaggy. Maybe, maybe I just need to work that. I've, I've seen on some of these, uh, some of my work on gold dollars where, where, you know, you have to use them a couple of times and strop them before they really, really smooth out. That might be the case with this one. I'm going to revisit revisit the hones with uh, that one at the same time I do this one, and then I have uh, a couple of vintage pieces that I, that I want to use. Uh, but uh, today I'm going to use uh, use an what is really in in straight razors is really uh, my preference of what to use is a modern manufacturer uh straight razor um uh there's there's people who consider vintage to be 
better. I, you know, I don't know. This is this is my one of my favorites. This is the Tears of Sard. I think it's eight eighty nine is the number on that. It's a five eighths, six eighths. I'm sorry. Uh, it has the. This is a common blank. This is very thin ground. Uh, the steel is C one thirty five. Uh, uh, Tears of Sard is one of the few, maybe the only razor maker that is still using uh, a lead hardening process. And this just has this just has the coolest uh, ram's horn scales. You know, I just I just I just had to have this. So that's what I'm using uh, the new soap, and let's let's see how it goes. <laughs> Got home from the uh, from the meetup, and I we had a uh, here at the house we had a a scheduled service call with my air conditioner house air conditioner because I try to check those early 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 in the season. And it seemed like it was not cooling well enough. And sure enough, it was low on gas. It was probably freezing up the A coil. Which that system is something like 35 years old. It's an R22 system. And uh, I had to replace the A coil some years ago. Because uh, the pan, the drip pan, had, had all corroded out. And the condensate was just winding up on the floor and I made a, uh, a calculated gamble that that maybe I could replace the A coil in that system and uh, continue to use that for a number of years and uh, the new rules would get better and maybe a little less expensive what that ha which that has happened But I don't know if I'm ready to replace that just yet. So service tech comes out and then he leaves. He's here a few minutes and he leaves. And uh, well, your system, your system is low on charge and we're not, you know, we're kind of not charging those now because that's an older system and you need to replace it. It's like, dude, you were here. You couldn't check and find the leak. So I don't know how the leak is not bad enough that I lose the complete charge and I don't know how slow it is. But if I was smart, I would have years ago bought a bottle, knowing I have R22, bought a bottle of R22, uh, R22 system I have, would have bought a bottle of R22 and a set of gauges uh, when you could get that stuff uh, at the wholesale club uh, without having to have a license. So, uh, and if I had that, if I was in that kind of condition, I would go look in the garage and see if, uh, see if I could find a bottle of R22 and a set of gauges Although I do need a, you know, and the, uh, this is wonderful. This is a good soap. This is nice and slippery soap. Nice residual. Uh, I do like this. And the mango, the mango smell is just like really, really wonderful. Uh, in the uh, modern YouTube age, it's a lot easier to learn stuff. Uh, and I realize the internet is not, look at the bottle of storage right now. I'll save that for later here. Bottle of storage. Uh, not that the internet is always 100% accurate, but you can usually glean some stuff once in a while. And apparently, uh, uh, 
since my system has a thermal expansion valve, I need to monitor and check the uh, uh, charge uh, by measuring the subcooling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I do go into that. I need a thermo I basically I need a thermometer uh to go on the uh uh refrigerant line coming from the outside coils before it goes into the compressor. And the subcooling is some sort of a calculation of the temperature of that particular thing. So I need a little thermometer to kind of tape on there and look at that. And if I had a whole bottle, if I had to, if I happened to go in the garage and find a whole bottle of R22, I would have enough to just put a charge on it and see uh, how much of a charge it would take. and then gauge whether is that you know because some of these things it's like it takes a couple of years the leaks are so slow okay i don't i don't particularly know in mine Now I'm thinking about what I'm shaving here, what I just did. I think I might have just did, I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the video. <laughs> uh, I might have I might have went done a down pass directly, which uh, usually it's where I went to the third pass to do that. Uh, but we know how it goes. You're shaving along and you're talking and you're thinking about what you're saying and what you want to say and and you even forget how many passes uh, you make on a shave. So uh, this is the third, so we know that now. <laughs> so the uh, meetup went well. Everybody really had a good time. I, I certainly enjoyed, for me, for me, Vegas does it does not necessarily hold anything for me, uh, but it was all about uh, getting together with with friends and the people that were there, and I think that was a common uh, uh, thought that we all kind of had. Um, uh, next year, the the meetup will be a little less, I think a little less accommodating than that because the cruise, I don't think they have like a big room where we can all just like hang out. And there were people in Vegas that uh, they went there and they tied in the uh, certain portions. Of the Vegas experience, which, uh, that was, wasn't much for me along those lines. I, you know, like I said, that's just not my thing. And had my wife been able to go, I'm not so sure she would have not been bored to death. <laughs> but on the cruise, it's like the cruise is going to be a little bit different, a little different activities and that kind of stuff. And that'll be like, like really, really fun.
thought it was very thoughtful uh, that in the planning of that, it appeared that they had, had tried to make sure there was some sort of a cost containment to uh, make it the trip available to as many people as possible. Hit my ear with that point. <laughs> Didn't feel a cut though. I really hate when you cut your earlobe. You know, those things, it's like those things will bleed forever. <laughs> I can't remember whether I muted the point on this or not. <laughs> And that's the technique that I should have used on the balloon from the very beginning. I could have won that contest. I could have won that, but no, no, no. Steve won it for the guys. Because the girls were, were killing us. <laughs> That's like the shave. Sterling Orange Chill, Witch Hazel. Love that, love that. And let's see. I think what I'll do is apply the aftershave, which is D503. I, I yeah I cannot remember what this is a this is a duplicate of, but it's a kind of a nice cologne. It reminds me a little bit of like the Sterling Blue, uh, a little different, but uh, uh, I do like it. And uh, I think that's just about it. Oh, another thing while on. Uh, trip to the barber supply store the new powder cannon six dollars and 75 cents and i loaded this up with uh um uh, i don't know if it's uh trumpers or i'm I, you know i don't know it's one of those english type type things it smells a lot like it just kind of smells like regular baby powder so we'll see how this one this doesn't have the 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 big broad cannon on it, but let's, let's see. Oh, that's, that's, this 
might be superior pat powder cannon. Got me there. So that's the shave. Uh, if you're finding me on YouTube, uh, please join us and our friends at theshavingcadre.com. Uh, great bunch of guys that, you know, we just happen to have the same hobby, the diversity in uh, the things we love and the things we do is incredible. So uh, 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 until the next time, uh, it's Bill signing out. Uh, have a great week, gang. <laughs>